Ship Constructor makes importing end products of the initial design phase easy. It can import surfaces, longitudinals, and other geometry. Ship Constructor supports importing curves, meshes, and NURBS surfaces. For this example, I will be importing the hull shapes from Rhino. Ship Constructor supports the import of IGES files, 3DM files, also known as Rhino files, and IDF files, or Interface Definition File, which is an International Marine Software Associates design format. The import window is tailored to the file type. When importing a Rhino file, we can select the subset of items to import. The NURB surface will be represented by a mesh surface, so setting the tolerance is important to balance shape and performance. Here we have the opportunity to mirror the surfaces on import and set the units. The surface properties window can be used to alter surfaces we just imported. We can set the stock of the surface so long as the stock was previously entered in manager. We can change the throw direction from the mold line. By setting the mode we can change the visual look of the surface. If set to solid it will display the stock thickness. The isolines column refers to double curvature surfaces only. We can decide the number of isolines to draw, but it is limited to a maximum of the number of mesh lines. Setting it to zero will draw isolines on the knots. Setting it higher will produce isolines between the knots. We can also set the color of the surface, outer trim loop, and inner trim loops to better differentiate it during modeling. Setting the mark side will be important later when we expand the surfaces, as this will be the side of the surface oriented upwards and the side of the plate that will be marked. With the speed and ease of import of initial design data, we are able to start working on building our ship with Ship Constructor swiftly.